Good evening. Welcome to Jam Time. This is Pastor Lisa. And um, tonight we are in our second week of Lent. And if you remember, Lent are the 40 days leading up until Easter. And so it's a time when we try to draw closer to God and grow spiritually. And we're on a Lenten journey of love. And tonight on our journey, if you look on, um, if you have on a calendar, if you look on tonight, March 8th, it says, think about a person you love and do something nice for them. Well, that sounds like something we all can do. So I have my Lego creation. And it comes from John, four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. So John is the fourth of the Gospels. And um, it's the feeding, it's called the feeding of 5,000. So Jesus, here's Jesus, he's looking all around at this huge crowd coming, and he asked Philip, he said, where can we buy enough food for all these people? And Philip answered, for everyone to have even a little, it would take more than 200 silver coins to buy enough bread. That's a lot of food to buy for 5,000 people. It'd be way expensive today. Well, another one of his disciples, here's Andrew, um, he was Simon Peter's brother, and he said, well, here's a boy who has five loaves and uh, of barley bread and two fish. So we have a little boy here with a loaf of bread and fish. That represents his bread and fish. So he said, but, you know, there's certainly not going to be enough for all to feed all of these people. I mean, each one would get a little crumb of the bread, and I don't know about the fish. Jesus said, make the people sit down. So you see all of our people are sitting down. And um, so there was a grass there. So you see our green grass. So all the people sat down, about 5,000 men. So we also know there are women and children, so over 5,000. So Jesus took the bread. Let me see, Jesus, any, whoops, bread's flying away. He took the bread and gave thanks to God and distributed it to all the people who were sitting there. And then he did the same thing with the fish, and they all had as much as they wanted. So Jesus' disciples looked around and saw all the people. You can imagine trying to decide how to feed 5,000 plus people. Andrew brought a little boy to Jesus, and he had five loaves of bread, two fish. I mean, how many people do you really think that could feed? Certainly not 5,000. But Jesus told them all to sit down, and he prayed. He took the bread, he took the fish, and he prayed over it. And everybody had enough to eat. It all started with a little boy being nice. Nice enough to share his food with others. I mean, think about all the good things that can happen if we start with one act of being nice and that's what our Lenten journey of love leads us to do this week is to find somebody maybe somebody we love and you know what maybe even somebody we don't know or maybe don't even really care for and be nice to them so here's our science um, experiment it's called the experiment the science of being nice so this young lady is walking by the mailbox and decides that she'll be nice and take the mail into this lady in here. So then this lady thought, wow, what a nice thing that she did for me. I know my neighbor has a little child so I am going to go over to her house and sweep her floor for her. So she sweeps the neighbor's floor. Well, then the neighbor said, you know what? There's some children playing outside. So I'm going to, whoops, pizza doesn't want to come out. I'm going to take a pizza And give to the children who are playing. Well, the children who are playing thought, wow, what a nice thing to do. So they come over 
and she decides to spend time reading with this older man who's sometimes lonely. And so she reads to him and he thought, wow, what a nice thing to do. He ought to be do something nice for somebody else. You can see sometimes niceness is a little hard, but it's working out. So he comes over to here and he decides to give uh, something to drink to the lady at the hot dog stand. And she then decides to be nice in return and gives him a hot dog which he then takes, let me turn around, to his friend over here, who doesn't like to cook, and he offers him a hot dog. So his friend here has a hot dog, and he decides, you know what, he has a saxophone that he can't play anymore. He just uh, can't quite get enough breath to play it. So he's going to take it, to his neighbor who he knows has wanted to play the saxophone, but she doesn't have one. She, she learned it in high school, but she doesn't have her own and can't afford one. So he brings her a saxophone. Well, she's so excited about the saxophone and thanks him for it. And in return, she decides to take a lamp for light to the man who doesn't have a home around the corner. He thanks her for the light and being so nice. And he has an extra apple and he takes that apple and comes around and brings it to the lady who first delivered the mail to her neighbor. She started the act of nice, being nice, and it went all the way around the neighborhood and came back to her. It reminds us sometimes that things that, you know, that things do go around, come around. And, and so when we share being nice, the science of it is, is that it then inspires others to be nice and the world can be a nicer place. And it starts with you and with me. So I hope you have a good week and have fun being nice to others. And let us close with prayer. Dear God, thank you for your love. Show me ways to be nice to others this week. Amen. Thanks. Have a good night.